got an older Intel Mac gathering dust, dreaming of those shiny new Mac with tall pictures, you are not alone. Many of us want to keep our beloved machines relevant, and that's where the incredible Open Core Legacy Patcher comes in. Open Core Legacy Patcher, or OCPO, is a fantastic community-driven tool that lets you install newer Mac OS versions, like the recently released Mac OS Tahoe, known as Tahoe 26. In early development stage, on Macs, Apple officially left behind. It's like giving your vintage sports car a brand new engine, the promise and the reality. Mac OS Tahoe brings some exciting new features, brand new liquid glass theme, iPhone mirroring for seamless integration, a supercharged Safari, new UI with customizations, and more. On paper, it sounds like a dream come true for Intel machines, but there is a catch. It's not always smooth selling. Now let's see some common pitfalls. Performance hits. The first thing you might notice is a dip in performance. While OCPL does an amazing job, the hardware isn't simply optimized for the latest Mac OS. You might experience general sluggishness, especially with demanding tasks, graphics glitches, and non-metal support. Graphics can be a big one. Many older Intel Macs lack metal compatible GPUs or only have legacy metal support. This can lead to visual glitches, issues with apps that heavily rely on metal, and even some features like photos potentially not working as intended. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth those. Connectivity can sometimes be a headache. Users have reported issues with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth not working optimally, or even dropping out entirely after the upgrade. T2 security chip challenges. For some specific models, particularly the 2018 and 2019 MacBook Airs with the T2 security chip, OCPL currently has limitations. Those machines might not even be able to upgrade past Mac OS Sonoma and Mac OS Sequoia due to T2 related problems, feature incompatibilities, and then there are the features that simply don't work. Apple Intelligence and iPhone Marine, for example, open requires a specific Apple Silicon hardware or T2 chip attestation, which OCPL can magically provide. Kernel panics and board issues, especially with dual socket CPUs in older Mac Pros or certain graphics configurations. You may encounter kernel panics or the traded prohibited symbol at board. This can be frustrating to troubleshoot, software updates or gamble. Incremental updates can also be a bit of gamble. While OCPL is constantly updated, each macOS patch could introduce some new issues or even temporarily break our system, requiring repatching. So before you dive into installing macOS Tahoe with OCPL, that is what you absolutely need to consider. Backup. Seriously, this is non-negotiable. Research your specific model. Check the Open Core Legacy Patcher .on website. They have detailed information on supported models and known issues for each. Understand the risks. This is not officially supported configuration. You might encounter bugs, instability, or features that don't work. Community support is key. The OCPL community is amazing, but you will need to be comfortable to build suiting and seeking help online. Is it your daily drive? If this is your primary machine for work or critical tasks, think twice for a secondary machine or an experiment. It's a lot of fun. Open Core Legacy Patcher is a testament to the ingenuity of macOS community and it genuinely extends the life of unsupported Intel Macs. For many, it's a fantastic way to experience newer macOS features and keep the hardware useful. However, be prepared for the potential quirks and challenges. It's a journey into unsupported territory. While rewarding, it requires patience and a willingness to troubleshoot. If you're up for the adventure, OCPL and macOS Tahoe can breathe a new life into your old Mac. But if you're looking for a perfectly seamless, official experience, then newer Apple Silicon Mac might be your best bet. After your experience running macOS Tahoe on unsupported Intel Max. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech insights. I'll see you in the next one.